They also see difficulties as stepping stones for transformation, right? So when they see a difficulty, they don't stop. They don't fear it. They say, hey, how can I utilize this to transform myself so the next time it happens, I get through it quicker? So I'm going to jump into resilience and talk to you guys a minute about resilience um, because I think that's obviously the last little thing is in resilience is guys, the ability to withstand or adjust to challenges, right? So if I had to describe this really in like one word, resilience is just toughness, right? I always say this constantly. It's one of my biggest sayings is tough times never last. Tough people always do, right? Tough times never last. Tough people always do. That's resilience. So if I had to do this in one word, I would tell you resilience is toughness. The capacity to recover quickly from the difficulties, being able to pivot, be able to fail and get back up immediately, pick that phone back up, not get told no, put it down and not touch it for a week, not put up a lead gen and let it sit on the back burner for a month before you actually take it live, right? So people that are resilient are hitting failure after failure and getting back up. In general, those who are extremely optimistic tend to show great great resilience, right? So the people I see in here, there's a lady, I can't remember her name, but she jumped on the other day. She shot a video of herself, super optimistic, ready to go, ready to roar, doing this for her own four businesses, um, but also for customers. But she's super, you can tell she's going to be resilient, right? She's going to be resilient because she's optimistic. She's so deep on her goals, so deep on her why, so so passionate about it that no matter what, she's going to keep a smile on her face and she's going to keep dialing. She's going to keep going for it, right? So they they approach life with a sense of humor, right? You kind of like, everybody's seen that video and they're like, fuck yeah, this person's like tits, right? And so, and they're able to laugh at themselves, guys. And they're able to reframe situations and experiences to see a lighter side, right? Resilient people also tend to have a strong moral compass. Are they, are they have a set of beliefs? that can't be shattered. They've thought deep enough about why they do and what they do and and why they do it, right? That they have these beliefs that if somebody comes in with a different belief, it doesn't shake them. They don't they don't get pissed off. Democrat, Republican, this, that, this religion, that religion, nothing shakes you when you know who you are. And these people know who they are, right? They don't compare themselves to others. They know that inside they are their own yardstick of success, right? They're, they're measuring themselves against themselves. They're getting better every day. They're sharpening that knife. They also see difficulties as stepping stones for transformation, right? So when they see a difficulty, they don't stop. They don't fear it. They say, hey, how can I utilize this to transform myself so the next time it happens, I get through it quicker, right? And finally, they practice mindfulness, and they surrender themselves to the ups and downs of life, never letting the outside world affect their inner being. Resilience, right? Resilience. 